Hey everyone, in this video we'll be solving this problem from J Advanced 2022. So in the, this is a problem from optics. So in this problem we have three plane mirrors that are arranged as an equilateral triangle and each of them has a length L. And then we have a small hole at the at a distance L from one of the corners as shown in the figure. So the, so option so in option A they're saying that if theta is 30 degrees, okay then they are saying the ray of light will come out for any L that is between 0 and L. Okay, so drawing a diagram. So for option A, they were saying that the ray comes in at an angle of 30 degrees. So if this is 30 degrees, we can say this angle is 30 degrees. Now we know it's an equilateral triangle, so this angle would be 60 degrees. So by angles and property, we can say this angle to be 90 degrees. And a ray that is approaching a plane mirror perpendicular to it uh, retraces its own path. So we know this path, this ray is going to come back. Therefore, option A is correct. So the ray will come out for an angle of 30 degrees irrespective of what the value of L is. Okay, so now moving on to option B. They're saying, they're saying there is an angle uh, for L equal to L by 2. So if the ray is entering through the midpoint, they're saying there is, there is an angle at which the ray of light will come out after two reflections. This we can just prove by symmetry arguments, right? So we can clearly see that there is a condition like this that is happening. So I mean we can just prove it formally as well. So if let's say this angle with which it enters is 60, so this becomes an equilateral triangle now. So with the normal this is going to be 30 degrees, which means this angle would be 30 degree, which means this angle would be 60. So it's clearly parallel, right? So we can clearly see an equilateral triangle forming. So yes, there is an angle which is 60 degrees at which if the ray enters at L equals L by 2, it's going to come out after two reflections. Okay. So B option is also correct. So the ray is entering. This is capital L by 3. So now it's entering at an angle of 60 degrees, right? Which would mean this ray is parallel to this plane mirror so let's say this is the normal this angle is 60 degrees so this angle would also be 60 which means the angle it makes with the normal is 30 degrees so after reflection as well it makes 30 degrees now if you see carefully this ray becomes parallel to the base of the triangle why because this angle is also 30 degree which which would mean this to this angle will be 60 degrees so now if you see carefully the after all the reflections the ray becomes parallel to the opposite side of the plane mirror. So after this reflection, the ray becomes parallel to the mirror on the left. And after this reflection, it becomes parallel to the mirror on the right. Something like this. And after this reflection, it will come out because of symmetry. This is a beautiful symmetrical case. So how many reflections did it take? It took one two three four and five reflections so it came out after five reflections but in the option they said first of all they said it will never come out which is false so c option is wrong and then in d option they said for the angle 60 degree which we just proved it will come out they said for any l which is between 0 and l by 2 it will come out after six reflections but we just proved for L equals capital L by 3, it took 5 reflections. That would just disprove the statement D. So hence, statement D is also wrong. So that was the solution for this problem. Thanks for watching, guys.